Welcome back. Western Slope, it is a sensational Saturday. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather. We're going to notice in our weather headlines that we are still expecting those above average temperatures by about a full five, even 10 degrees. And that means mid 40s during those afternoon hours with minimal cloud coverage expected lots and lots of sunshine. Even during the evening hours, clear skies can be expected to continue with us throughout the rest of this weekend and even into the early work week start of 2024. And speaking of 2024, quite the pleasant start as both of these things kind of stick around. We're going to notice as we take a look nationally that this forecast has this high pressure ridge still amplifying as it moves on through the region. Some upper level moisture However, though, in that atmosphere is going to cause, well, a possible chance for some scattered snow showers through those central mountains, through that continental divide region. That's right, Vail Pass, Aspen, Gunnison, Salida even could be expecting some snow tonight. That will clear on out, though, by the time we're waking up tomorrow on Sunday. And we're going to notice, even though a little bit of some low pressure, even though a little bit of a cold front will start to move on in, we're not decreasing in temperatures by much at all on the western slope. I do want to take Take a peek into tomorrow because of that moisture I didn't mention. It's going to start having some northeasterly flow through those northern states and kind of move on out of the forecast region, which in turn, of course, will leave us still with those clear and dry skies here on the western slope. And I know I did mention oh, that moisture is really only landing to the east of us in those higher regions, but th that chain law is still active. That means when you see those yellow, those orange blinking lights on I-70, be cautious and of course carry those chains with you or have those sufficient mud or snow rated tires for the winter season. And also just slow down, pack patience, be cautious of those drivers around you, ease off that gas pedal regularly, don't slam on the brakes, you know, just please watch out for those drivers around you. Now our almanac will show us that actually on the high end of things pushing Quite a few degrees above what we're typically used to. 43 instead of that typical 36 low end of things. 18 instead of that typical 16. So again, a couple degrees above what we are typically used to. However, as we get into the rest of this work week, about Wednesday, Thursday, a little bit of decrease in temperatures can be expected. As we take a look ahead, low average temperatures might be expected. Now our New Year's planner for tomorrow will show the low on Sunday evening. As you're headed out and about 24 degrees. And Monday, while well, those afternoon highs still at 45 for those afternoon hours. Montrose, same kind of trend, however, 24 also expected for Sunday night. A few degrees cooler on Monday at 42, of course, with those partly cloudy skies. So that sunshine is actually here to stay. And we'll notice even in Discovery Auto Group's extended forecast, that sunshine is here to stay. 45 as we take a peek into tomorrow, 44 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, still also looking quite pleasant. Those low end of things, 20s will be seen for the foreseeable future as well. Montrose, same kind of trend, a few degrees cooler. We're going to notice even dropping down into the 30s by Wednesday and even into Thursday, which is where we're going to edge closer and closer to those possible lower than average temperatures.